smoke in the air cause it's pleasing to the Lord. I roll it up, that's what he put it here for. I said smoke up for a tidy. Thanks for rolling up. I'm Tuba Marley. And this is Certified Pothead. Smoking on one of my uh nighttime, nighttime spliffs. You know what you about to do, Bird Club. You about to take a look at these cannabis conspiracy theories. Which I like to call cannabis conspiracy theories. Today's theory involves the Statue of Liberty. Ever wonder if Lady Liberty might be holding something more than just a torch? Well, light up your curiosity because we're diving deep into this conspiracy theory that'll leave you grinning like you've just taken a puff of the good stuff. Let's roll through the evidence one toke at a time. Let's get straight to the point. What if the torch isn't just some fancy symbol of enlightenment? I mean, who says enlightenment can't come from lighting up a giant spliff? Think about it. Lady Liberty's been holding that thing high in the air for over a century. If that isn't the universal sign of who's got a lighter, then I don't know what is. Picture it. New Yorkers gaze at the harbor and there's Lady Liberty, the original queen of lighting the way to freedom. Freedom from oppression, from tyranny, and yes, from stress. Maybe the Statue of Liberty is not so subtle that the path to relaxation and self-discovery is just what puff away. Let's face it. Who couldn't use a little enlightenment these days? It's as if she's saying, I see your problems and I raise you one giant doobie. Now who's ready to relax and let life roll on by? Here's a riddle for you. I carry a torch, but never burn. Rare a crown, but it's not my turn. Though I'm rooted to one spot in my hand, what symbol have I got? Okay, let's talk about color for a second. Lady Liberty didn't start out green. She was born with a shimmering copper glow. But over the years, she turned into a iconic green goddess that we know today. The official explanation, oxidation. But come on, that sounds like the biggest cover up since your buddy claimed he didn't eat the last slice of pizza. Let's be real here. Lady went green because she's been standing there puffing away in peace, absorbing all those good vibes. In today's world where going green is all the rage, Lady Liberty is the head of the curve. She's the original eco warrior, not because of oxidation, but because she's been living that sustainable lifestyle long before it was trendy. If you think about it, she's been advocating for a greener way of life since 1886. Just chilling in the harbor, turning into the literal poster child for green energy. And let's not ignore the fact that she's towering over New York, a city that recently embraced legal cannabis. Coincidence? I think not. Lady Liberty is basically a walking, well, standing advertisement for green in more ways than one. Here's another riddle for you. I weigh tons, but don't take a step. Visitors from afar, I've always kept. With chains at my feet, I'm forever free. What holds me here? Tell me, what do you see? New York is home to some of the best street food in the world. Pizza, hot dogs, pretzels. It's basically a buffet of munchies available. To but here's a theory you might not have heard. Lady Liberty is responsible for it all. She's been standing there for over a century, holding her torch joint. Torch, tor words, bro. Words. Her torch joint. And let's face it, probably getting the munchies. How else do you explain the food cart swimming around Manhattan like moths to a flame? Think about it. The Big Apple is the city that never sleeps, mainly because it's too busy snacking. With Lady Liberty at the helm, every tourist and New Yorker alike is guided by her gentle hand and maybe subtle suggestion towards the nearest bagel cart. It's like she's whispering, pizza, my friends, it's the true path to freedom. And don't even get me started on Ellis either. Sounds like a landing strip for immigrants, sure, but also maybe a pit stop for the world's finest edibles. If you look closely at her face, she has that serene, contented look of someone who's just eaten an entire pretzel the size of a frisbee. And that's freedom. Riddle time. I greet the tired. I greet the poor. With seven points upon my crown, I'll show them more. I wear a robe, yet I'm made of steel. What am I? Can you reveal? All right, let's really spark this one. Why did France gift us Lady Liberty in the first place? According to history books, it was a symbol of friendship and freedom. But I have a sneaky suspicion that this was the world's most elaborate stash drop. After all, what's more French than indulging in life's finest pleasures? Wine, 
cheese, and apparently an enormous statue holding a comic-sized joint. Let's break it down. You don't just head over a 151-foot statue across the Atlantic and say, here, have some freedom. No, bruh. The French was suddenly saying, America, you seem a little stressed. Here's something to help you mellow out. They packed up Lady Liberty and set her sail and let her dock in New York with a wink and a nod. This was no ordinary gift. It was the French's way of saying, relax, take it easy. And while you're at it, light this bad boy up. Here's another riddle for you. A gift from afar, a stand in one place, a beacon of hope, a light up of grace. If you come close, I'll help you see. What am I called officially? Now about the crown. Those seven rays, they're officially said to represent the seven continents. But let's be honest here. Those rays clearly symbolize the seven stages of the ultimate smoke sesh. You know the ones. Spark it up. The moment of truth. The first tote. Reality begins to work. Coughing uncontrollably. No one escapes this stage. The giggle fit. When everything suddenly becomes hilarious. The existential reflection. Dude. What is time for the Munchie Marathon? See the previous section on New York Snacks. And finally, the deep chill. Complete relaxation where you feel one with the universe and your couch. The seven rays aren't just decoration. They're a step-by-step -step guide to achieving higher consciousness. Lady Liberty's been showing us the way this whole time. And we've just needed to open our third eye. And maybe pass a joint to understand. So where do we end up with this, people? Is Lady Liberty holding a giant joint? But we can't say for sure. But one thing's for certain. She's got the chillest vibes this side of the Atlantic. Whether the torch represents enlightenment or the world's biggest doobie. She's lighting the way to freedom one puff at a time. The next time you catch a glimpse of her standing tall, just remember. She's not just a beacon of hope. She's a symbol of the ultimate chill. And if you happen to have a lighter... I'm sure Lady Liberty wouldn't mind a little assistance keeping the good vibes going. After all, freedom's great. But freedom and a snack, that's the American dream. The answers to the riddle. Torch, pedestal, the Statue of Liberty. Liberty enlightening the world. I'll see you on the next one, bruh.